Whoa! We're here. This is it, yeah. It took a year. It wasn't easy. I finally got permission to go inside and climb the stairs to Ward 210, the so-called female violent ward, where I was placed when I was 17 years old. In those days, we thanked the Lord for King's Park. This was the um, Hilton uh, <laughs> Hotel of Mental Institutions at that time. This was a crazy place. And not just because of the people they locked up. It was a very crazy place. It was, first of all, immense. It was a huge, huge city. And here are these buildings which reached up to the sky in a town where you couldn't build above four stories, filled with patients. This was the final destination, and I didn't know if I'd ever get out. Yeah, there was quite a few patients that didn't even take any medication. It was hard to determine why they were here, but they were here. When I came to the hospital system, state of the art of treatment was electric shock. And before that, lobotomy. I mean, to line them up and hit them in the skull up above the eye and destroy them really forever. What I remember is there were only about seven psychologists total for like three to 4,000 patients or something like that. But I was given this whole building with all of these patients. I was terrified. I had never had anything to do with psychiatric patients. Never. I would love to go over there, but I just can't go over there. I can't believe that. How could you think about some things that happened 50 years ago and still feel like a kid? My bedroom is, is creepy. Yeah, it was like this one right here. And the girl next to me killed herself. cheer when they smash these buildings so there'll be all my anger and frustration about this place going. I'd love to be in that crane and hit, give it the first whack. I'd love it. I'd love it. <laughs> this other young patient came to me and said, do not cry. They'll hurt you. And I stopped. And I didn't cry for 20 years. How do you feel about the fact that King's Park has closed? Very good thing. <laughs> Thank God. I mean, if you knew there was someone on the outside saying, come, leave, you know, I'll help you do everything, most people would go. But I'm guessing there was no one like that here. No. You certainly see a lot of people who have fallen through the various cracks of the system. And when they get here, there's no more cracks to fall through. Suffolk County Jail is the largest mental health provider in the county. People get sentenced here that probably shouldn't be sentenced here, but the judges don't have any other option. And it's certainly a shame that in this country, that's what we do with our mentally ill. Put them in cages like we did in another century. There's a part of me that is still up there. And if I can go through what I have to go through to go back there, then I can rescue that part of myself. I used to mop this floor. This is where I learned how to use a mop. I will never forget this room. I remember when I first started this project, I asked this question, what's the purpose of hell? Because if ever there was a hell, this was one of them. 